right, welcome to a bonus episode of It's Still Real to Me. Jonathan Zaslow, of course, here. Zaslow Show 2.0. My pal, Joey Levin, who had a very good idea this afternoon. Okay, very big break in news today. Uh, crazy, I guess, last 24 hours, essentially, in WWE NXT. As last night, shockingly enough, Mandy Rose drops the NXT title to Roxanne Perez, who, who seemingly uh, NXT has strapped a rocket to her back. And it, it was, I wasn't watching it live. I, I rarely watch NXT live if I watch it at all that week. And I see on Twitter last night that she lost like, holy shit. And then this afternoon, news breaks. Fightful Sean Ross Sapp, who's, I mean, I, I think he's probably like the top guy out there when it comes to, you know, uh, pro wrestling news. Reports Fightful has learned that WWE has released Mandy Rose. A, a total shocker. And then Joey says, hey, we should do a bonus episode. All right. We should do a bonus podcast if it's still real to me. And I'm like, you know what? That's a pretty good idea. So here we are, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I figured, you know, we, we don't cover NXT extensively, but this would have taken up a pretty decent chunk of the regular show because there is a de there is a good amount to unpack here. I mean, a, an active champion was let go from a, from the biggest comp well, biggest company technically yeah. on the planet, you know, NXT is part of WWE. So I figured let's jump on and like unpack it a little bit. I think there's still a lot of details not yet out there. Um, I will obviously will. I don't. I, I don't believe Mandy Rose has said anything publicly yet, but uh, I think we're going to find out. Well, we'll obviously find out more throughout the week. But there's enough, I think, to uh, give the people a little, a little insight, or at least our our opinions on it, because so, it was it was crazy when yes. I, I was told at work today. Were, were you watching NXT last night? Did you happen to see her lose? I saw. Actually, I I saw the NXT tweet of the finish. I saw you tweet. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, like you quote tweeted it. And then I actually looked at the comments to see if anybody was knew what the hell was going on. And one of the guys who responded to you sort of implied that she dropped it, that they made her drop it because of this. So, you know, I, I, if you want just basically what is being confirmed right now is that she was released. She dropped the title last night and was released because of content that she put out on her fan time. That is basically, she has her own website. Yeah, so fan time is basically like a celebrity version of OnlyFans, right? So it's not really her website. It is man, it is like mandysax.com, but it it is part of the fan time. Okay. It's like a different version. Of, it's like what pa Paige Van Zant has an as a fan time. Um, Valerie Lareda, who is also an NXT prospect, has a fan time. Eh, she might be closing that down. Um, but I don't think she's putting out what Mandy was putting out. When by the way, I've, I the only stuff I've seen of what got leaked. And we'll get into the the posting versus leaking thing, right? But the only thing I saw was I, you know, there's some bad people out there that leaked this shit, and I saw some of it on Twitter, and it's like, you know, I could see where it's against their policy, right? Yeah, you With think? sponsors. Well, uh, it, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I, I don't think anything well, she did I, was. I mean, I don't think there's anything about porn that's the worst thing in the world. It's not porn. Porn's, porn's it fine, porn. right? It but porn. it's. It's it's close, man. Like it's, no, I mean, if you watch Game of Thrones and you see someone naked, is that porn? Right, but that's that's what Game of Thrones is. There, see, I, I think what but that's what fan time is. I mean, that's know, what fan time and only fans. But are. you know where I think there was a major problem, and this was see, I have a hard time believing that she was not okay. So first of all, I saw I saw the videos, pictures that are in question, and and it's like, oh, Zazzle, I can't the believe you went and what's that. The only one that I saw that probably is the one that got her fired was there was a video, a selfie video where she was in the pool, ba like naked. And there's and, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff out there that I saw. Um, I but I I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen a few others, but not like again, not like not even like really, really like even like as much as they show on like HBO or Showtime or something like that. Which I get, that's what they do. But go ahead. So I, anyways, there's continue. a bunch of stuff out there that I saw, and I looked it up, you know, a little while ago. And it's not like, oh, Zazzle, how can you look at that stuff? Here's the thing. You know, like, you remember however many years ago when, when, when there was the fappening, right? When you had all the celebrities yeah. whose, like, phones were hacked and the pictures that are for their privacy, their private enjoyment with their, you know, significant others, that was put online. I'm like, I'm not going and looking at any of that stuff. 
you know, these may be attractive women, but it's not cool. They never had any intention of that stuff getting out there. I'm not looking at it. Same thing like back years ago with the Aaron Andrews stuff. She, that was never supposed to, she didn't even take that video. Like it was a peeping Tom and then someone put it online. Like, I'm not looking at that stuff. This year, I went and, you know, once this became a story this afternoon, Mandy Rose, I went to look it up. And I didn't feel bad about going to look it up because while I, me personally, obviously did not pay for it, it's out there on purpose. She she put it out there. Like, some, I'm essentially, by, by looking it up, it's being stolen, you know, by yeah. people. But she wanted it out there. She wanted it out there for money. Yeah, but not money. for free and not right, by... Not, not free. Not, you know. Correct. Correct. But that's why I didn't have an issue looking it up to, so I, I got oh, some kind yeah, of context here as far as what we're dealing with. So I, so I did right. look that up and I did check out the pictures. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm not surprised at all that she was fired. And I do have to believe they had to have gave her some type of ultimatum they, I, I got a very difficult time believing that that they they saw these pictures that were leaked recently and you're right like i tweeted out last night whoa when she lost the title and then someone responds to me and said i wonder if this has to do with uh any of the stuff that was leaked and i wrote buddy back and i go i go what's i said i've heard bits and pieces about this but what's the story and so, cause i had no idea about any of this and, and i thought that meant i when i saw that she lost i thought she was going to the main roster i i, I had no idea what it was and and I so that's what it was. so he said, yeah, that that she apparently she's got pictures and they've been leaked out there. And I'm like, oh, okay, is this one of those situations like with Paige where like there's a sex video out there? Which that's another one that I I refuse to watch because that's a personal thing that that got there's out a, there. By the way, there's a person on the main roster who is in the Paige video who still has a job with WWE. Right. But that's that's that was a person that their, their their privacy was violated. And that was never, ever saying. supposed to get out. I have no problem with that. And I also don't want to watch it. You're talking about Xavier Woods, of course. Yeah. Um, well, and we can also, but he, I mean, I don't think it was leaked. I think he tried to sell it. X-Pac has a sex tape and he still does stuff for the company. Yeah. He was on NXT two weeks ago. So, yeah. and it's, and it's not only fans showing naked full frontal nudity. It is a sex tape. Right. So right. please. I mean, uh, but, this but, is, uh, but we'll talk about, I mean, this is just sort of where it's just, I'm not, I don't think it's what you're saying is necessarily wrong. There's just, there's so much way, about the way it went down. It just seems I got like a, a bad look for WWE. I got a hard time they didn't say to her, hey, and you remember, this is what got Paige eventually, uh, was it Paige where, oh no, Zelina Vega, and where she was let go. Now it wasn't pornographic material or anything like that, but it was one of those deals where WWE, uh, and they had changed, since changed their policy, but they weren't allowing their performers to do any of this extracurricular stuff where they're making money on the side with these sites. And Zelina Vega was doing, the, you know, one of these sites. Again, not nudity or anything like that. And it was probably, it was probably like Twitch or something. Yeah, and they told her, you got to take it down. You can't do this. This is not allowing your contract to make money in other ways outside of our company, which sucks that you're not allowed to do that. They, she made a choice. They let her go. They eventually brought her back because it's a stupid rule. This situation here, I have a very hard time believing they did not tell Mandy Rose. Listen, Mandy, this is we, we didn't realize this is what's going on. The there these pictures and video, by the way. There's a lot of video. These pictures and video out there, it's pretty racy stuff. Like we gotta make a decision here. And she may have made a decision where, yeah, you know what? I'm making a ton of money with this. And I could wind up signing with another wrestling promotion at the same time. But I, okay, so you're right. You're right. But I'll say this because I talked about this with a buddy earlier when we were discussing this. If WWE really wanted her, then make up what she's losing. Because if there was an ultimatum, like she's making more money off of this fan time than she is being in NXT, according to yeah, maybe. report. And, and, and here's the other thing about the videos, right? Um, I've been on I've I've I have subscribed to OnlyFans pages before. Most of them, especially celebrities, you pay the monthly thing, you don't get shit. Mm -hmm. You have to pay way more to get the shit that she was putting out. It's not like this stuff was just she's just like putting it out there, putting out, you know, racy, I guess, as they put it, videos or or whatever. Um, and just like here, pay 30 bucks a month and you can have all this content. 
if I would bet if you pay the 30 or 40, whatever it is a month, it's probably just like Instagram. And then she'll say, well, if you pay this much, you can get you you can see this or if you pay that. None of this, I think, happens if it doesn't get leaked, which is also partially part of my issue with it, which is like, why? if it was such a big deal to WWE, then they know that it's happening. I mean, mm -hmm. she's I had it. I, this I is not new. I think it's quite possible they didn't know to the extent. I, I think it's quite... Dude, I am not even close to a prude. I saw the videos and the pictures today. It is no surprise they fired her. And 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 and, and there's a couple things that I got to add to it. Number what's, one... Can, uh, what's the worst that... What's the worst thing that she posted? Because I only saw a couple, and m mainly it was just like she was naked. Yeah, there's a couple where you could see her boobs. Like, you could totally right. see her boobs. Uh, but then there are others where, you know, it's the kind of deals. Like, like there's one. There's where one she's, where she's, like, twerking or something. There's, like, a couple twerking she's videos. She's riding a guy, you know. Yeah. She's just got the thong on, and she's essentially okay. riding him. And then there are others. Which is probably where, that dude. Isn't she? Hasn't she for a long time been dating to star, Tino, yeah. Tino Sabatelli, the guy and, who was in NXT? Yeah. And then there are others where she's wearing the panties. But, like, you could see, not to get graphic, it's not what I'm trying to do, but... You know, with the panties, like, she, you know, we're talking close-ups around her, you know, around her right. badge. And it's like, this is what I would watch on on Pornhub, you know? Like, it's... it's Well, we watch pretty... different things on... I'm gonna just going to put it out there. We watch different things on Pornhubs, but we are in different parts of our life. Um, like, this but... is... Like, it's... It's 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 not what I've ever seen uh, a WWE female suit. Now, I know Sable has done Playboy... I know Tori Wilson has done Playboy, but that's all in conjunction and with total consent uh, and combined marketing with the WWE. And uh, we're, we're in the PG era, okay? And Mandy Rose has a, a, a toy out there. She, she's part of their toy line, okay? It's sold to kids. WWE is a super fan. One of the things we talk about on the show all the time is how different the WWE crowd is to AEW. There are so many kids and families in the crowd. And, and here's where I think she really screwed up. If you're going to be doing these kind of videos, you can't be Mandy Rose. And that's she WWE. Wasn't. She's not. It says Mandy Rose Sachs. It does. It Isn't it just Mandy Sachs? No, it's Mandy Rose Sachs. You mm. can't be Mandy Rose. WWE owns the name Mandy Rose, and Mandy Rose is a WWE superstar. You, you, and, and obviously, she's putting Mandy Rose sacks because Mandy Rose is right. raw, okay? You can't be Mandy Rose, and you're naked. You can't do it, Joey. You can't do it. I, 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 so, by the way, her real, her real name in, in real is M M Amanda Rose Sacramento. So, I mean, WWE might own the intellectual property to uh the name uh Ma Ma or Mandy Rose in WWE yeah. Yeah. but that's her name yeah. but you know and and like i i don't necessarily like i don't agree with the rules i think they're stupid i think she should still be working for the company i think they absolutely blew it because she's a star i think there's ways they could have gone about it uh, my understanding from reading a report right before we came on is that she didn't know she was getting fired. She knew she was dropping the belt and she thought she was going to get punished. She did not show, know she was going to get fired. Um, and I just think the way it's going down, the timing of it is really poor for WWE. Why? In, partic in, in particular, when you consider that Matt Riddle was just written off TV for six weeks so he could go to drug rehab for his second time breaking the wellness policy. Yeah, I know so, people are gonna so, they're gonna say so, there's a double standard. Go ahead and I'll, I'll tell you well, why I don't agree with it's you. It's not a it's not and I'm not even saying from a male female double standard. I'm just saying like and by the way, WWE doesn't test for marijuana anymore. Right. So so just consider that, right? Yep. So he 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 popped and well I read cocaine online, no idea, just rumors. Who knows? But but to me it's like she all she did was break their company policy. All he did was break their company policy and the law, and he's a, an action figure. So it is a double standard. There's multiple people in the company that have been in trouble many times, and they get they go away for a little bit, they come back. And like, I get they have partners. What are the partners saying right now about the fact that one of the guys who's on TV every week is in rehab for doing blow? They they don't those partners don't care, but they care that this. This woman is making money off of showing herself naked. 
I, it just it is a double standard. Well, I mean, maybe it's a false equivalency a little bit, but it it to me it's a double standard. So timing wise, it's not a great look, and I think that's what people are reacting to. Well, I think they there are a lot of people who agree with me that it's just a stupid, stupid rule, um, and that she should be able to, on her own time on a website where she's charging people that is totally illegal and lots of celebrities make tons of money off of it. She should just be allowed to do that. But I get it. They have company rules, but there's also this other, there's also other company rules that people break all the time and they don't get fired over it. So it is, it is to me, it's a big double standard. And I think that's a big part of why people are pissed off. The place where I don't agree with the double standard part is, uh, and a couple of reasons. Number one, if there, if it was a double standard, what did the double standard be applied to Mandy Rose? Like, I would figure, okay, Mandy Rose is going to be the one that gets a second chance here and not Riddle getting a second or third chance because Man- Mandy Rose, for the last 400 and some odd days, has been a lot more valuable than Matt Riddle, wouldn't you assume? Maybe. I don't know how they look at it. I mean, I don't know if they look at it like, NXT champions are as valuable as main roster superstars because a lot of there's been some NXT champions who have come, you know, made it to the main roster and not done a whole lot. Um, so maybe because like to me, what I was saying earlier today was like, if you're WWE suspender, but then on the backside, just be like, you're going to the main roster soon. We'll bump your money. Just stop doing it. Like we'll we also, pay you. We also, the wrestling media is so wonky and, and not even just the wrestling media, but it's, it's the fans and the way that rumors get spread. We really have so like like this only happened a few hours ago. We have so little information. We may find out all the things we're talking about here. We're all presented step by step at her, you know, right in front of her, and she specifically chose to disobey these steps. Like we may find out that WWE gave her every single chance. Well, they said the report did say she didn't ask to be released. Right. Like she was let go no, because but, of this. But, but what I'm saying is they may have said, you can't do this anymore. You can't do this anymore. You can't do this anymore. And she was just, and she may have dared them to do something about it. So or she's making more money out. or yeah. she's making more money right. doing that. And like, right. how can you like, it's like, I, I can't like you're, uh, I'm, I'm making mo- this much here and this much here. Totally I mean, I would possible. bet, I, I bet you she's making Three quarter million a year off that. Oh, based, I'm telling you, maybe based a million. on the content I saw today, people are paying for it. I'm telling you. Well, <laughs> and, people, and, people and also, it. like, and also, here's the thing like, she made a shitload more today. Like, 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 what she may have lost in her, you know, revenue from WWE, she probably gained it today because as many people that subscribe to her, um, now, there was a lot. I mean, I had no idea she had a fan time where she was getting naked. I'm not subscribing to it. But there is a lot of people that will. I'd say 95% of people probably don't even know. So she may. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, some things. So she actually, this may now, and there's other wrestling companies, but like you said, in the end, at the end of the day, this may work out incredibly for her. Well, the because, part where I think it's shitty for her is this is what she's going to be known for now. She, not for having the long, you know, the third longest NXT women's title reign. She's going to be known for being suspended because she did like, you know, porn account. But, but you know why or I don't fire. think it's that? But you know why? I think she'll be a hero wherever she shows up. And and he, and, and it's because it's different than the page thing, right? It's not an explicit sex Very tape different. that got illegally leaked. Yep. She, like you said, she chose to put naked yep. pictures out there. She chose to charge for it. So she's obviously has enough pride and and self-respect and all that to to do it. And I think because of that, there's so many people on her side that wherever she shows up next, if she wrestles, which I'm assuming she is because she's doing the best work of her career right now, I think she becomes a conquering hero. If I'm every, if I'm any other wrestling company right now, I'm calling her today, and I'm like, you're coming in, you're going to be our top baby face. But she's tomorrow. always going to be known for this now, though. I, but does, do you think she gives a shit? I don't know. She put Maybe it out, like doesn't. you said, like you said, she put it out there. Right, she put it out there, but she doesn't want her career to be known uh, with, with these videos, she wants likely yeah, be the, known as a great pro wrestler. But there's, you could easily spin that, right? Like, yes, you for now, maybe for the next week or so, it's going to be the wrestler who got fired for naked pictures. But when she, eventually, when she comes back, it's easy to spin it into, you know, the wrestler who got treated like shit by the machine for doing something that really wasn't that bad. And fuck you, WWE. This is our this. It's. I mean, 
it's like the story of AEW right now. Like she, who would fit more in AEW? The person who got shit on by WWE fairly or unfairly goes to AEW. That's what they all do now. So I, I just think people, people are, I, there's so many people on her side in this thing. Now, that being said, there are a lot of scumbags and there are a lot of shitty people. And there are a lot of people who are just like really, really, really after her on this. And it's crazy to me that people are like so negative. I mean, it's actually not crazy. People are negative, but I do think there is a lot. There are a lot more people right now that are totally, totally, totally on her side in this whole thing. That wherever she shows up next, I think, especially, especially if it's AEW, because you know the hardcore, the AEW, well, like the hardcore, it's going to be likely a few months because they right. all have non competes, right? But I, I just mean like particularly AEW, like the hardcore, hardcore AEW fans don't like WWE. They're like an anti WWE, right? So. She she's gonna come in immediately. Be uh, she's gonna be loved wherever she goes. Here's I, I think. Here's also by the way, Joey, where I think there's a major difference between Matt Riddle getting a second and third chance wellness policy and Mandy Rose being fired here. Whatever the drug is, and I know you mentioned uh, that cocaine has been thrown around. Although that's super like. It's it's very uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's reckless, you know, because n none of us know. Uh, right. But whatever it we is, we just know it's not weed. Yeah, because they they don't test for marijuana anymore. Right. Um, and that's his whole gimmick. But exactly. But again, th th there's the double standard, right? Like, well, but here's the I mean, part with the wellness policy, and here's why they're gonna give people like Riddle in that spot every chance before they fire them, because when we're talking wellness policy and you're talking drugs. You're talking addiction, which is then considered a disease. And you're putting yourself liable for lawsuits where you fired me because I have a disease. He's going to get every opportunity. Anyone who fails these tests, I'm telling you, anyone who fails these tests is going to get every opportunity. I don't, I don't disagree. Fired, and that's where they're going to send them to rehab. Which but I don't disagree. But my understanding is that when he was supposed to fight Seth Rollins, a few months ago, he also popped, yeah. and they didn't. They didn't do anything, right? And then, so now they're they, sending him to rehab, right? And but so nothing happened, right. right? So this is strike two. He should have been in rehab that time, right? If it's if it's a problem, it was it was a big enough problem that they that they moved the match, right? Uh, now he's in rehab, but from what again, it's all speculation. But it's the morals the, the people, clause; they'll fire you right away, which is what happened, but, to Mandy. But it, but it's but it's. You know, from the people that we respect, the Sean Ross Saps, the Dave Meltzers, if you still respect it, that, you know, but um, that people have popped for the same thing that Riddle popped for and not gotten, not even had to go to rehab. So there, I think yep. the issue right now is that WWE, just from a, like a, like a, again, I guess it's the double standard. What is the, what is the, what, what rules, how are some rules, like, again, doing any drug and, being a professional wrestler, because I don't even consider weed a, a drug, right? But uh, I know people do, still has that thing, whatever. It's not a drug. But like any drug that's like harder than that, that can affect your you in the ring, rehab is not like if you're, if he's an addict, here's the other thing. If he's an addict, he's always an addict forever. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just go to rehab and not be an addict. Mm -hmm. And it's not like being on the road away from your kids. At, uh, away from your family, away from whoever you're dating at the time, on the road 300 days a year is just good for an addict. Yep. Is that safe for the company? I, I mean, I guess they're looking at it from a they legal standpoint. They get their ass covered by forcing him to go to rehab. Yeah. Yeah, but then he comes back and hurts someone in the ring, and it turns out he was high. Now what? He gets fired? Uh, right. The company's still fucked. But either way, I mean, I know I'm comparing two different stories. They both, it just so happened that they happened at the same time. I just don't, I mean, I, it's just so weird to me because WWE still, it's a bummer. It, here, here's the thing. It's, the, I get it. Yeah. It's the PG era. Sure. I know it's the PG era. Okay. But on Fox or on USA network, Dominic Mysterio can home an invasion his dad and beat him up. And that's not bad. You know what I mean? Like, right. But it's, it's, uh, that's on the show. Like this, what Mandy Rose was not on their show. You know, I I get it, but why are the the partners that are so outraged about Mandy Rose being naked? Why do they not care that little kids are watching this guy beat like break into his dad's house and beat the shit out of him? What's worse? What's worse? Zaz, you have young kids. Mm -hmm. Do you care more in the internet era where everything gets found out if they find if do you care more 
as a parent, whether your kids see Mandy Rose naked or find out that Matt Riddle is doing cocaine and learn about what cocaine is at a young age? It's tough because uh, they're both outside the program. Like my kid, like it's not happening on the program that I I'm uh, that I'm hypothetically allowing my young kids to watch. Sure. You know, so it's it, it's it's tough to make that comparison. It's like oh, uh, they find out that uh, NBA player X beat up his wife. How do I feel about that? Well, I'm not letting them watch that. I'm letting them watch the basketball games. The the domestic abuse isn't happening on the hardwood, you know. So uh, it's it's tough to control what's going on outside of of the show, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and then the other thing that people that I've seen a lot of people really outraged about on this, which I get another, it's probably another false equivalency, is that her entire run in WWE yeah, has but, been yeah. about her sexuality. Yeah, but but it's but but they're not putting her they're they're not she's not nude on their television and not making uh very sexually But she's in a shower, but videos. she's in a but she's but she's in a shower making out with Otis or she's in a hotel room taking off her robe in front of Jimmy Uso like there's it's it's it's, it's all implication when she was in the video that she posted to fan time when she's riding the guy, mm-hmm. she wasn't having sex with the guy. It's implied sex. Mm-hmm. What, what's the difference between I'm implied telling you, sex? That video that I saw, it's the same one you did. It's the it's the least bad of the ones that and bad. I mean, it's all subjective. I I don't think it's bad, but it's the least bad of all the videos and and photos that I saw today. That one that we're describing right there, it's it's the least bad. I'm telling you, do a little bit of digging. You'll find the other ones. I I, I don't even. I, I mean. It's like I'm not I don't surprised know, yeah. at all that she was fired. It's a bummer. I, wish I no, I I'm not necessarily surprised because it's the rules, right? It's their rules, but the I think the the a lot of the outrage that people have over this is what the rules are and who do the rules apply to. Um, and I get and like maybe they're making an example like don't go make content outside of WWE. We're not going to stand for it. Uh, but I think it's absurd. I guess I'll leave and, you with I, I I'll I'll leave you with this, Joy. I feel like when you feel like they they this woman represented NXT for over a year, wouldn't you? Ha- don't we have to give the benefit of the doubt that they did everything that they gave her every opportunity to rectify this listen, situation? Well, my my guess, if I had to guess, is kids don't watch NXT. Partners don't care about NXT. But she she was ready. It's on USA. It's on the same no. network as Raw. Yeah, but it's it's a niche audience. You know that. Mm-hmm. Like it, and I think they're probably ready to move her up, right? And they probably now are like, now it can't happen anymore. Like you're gonna be on, you're either gonna be on Fox or you're gonna be on USA for Monday Night Raw, which is. And she said, "I'm not giving it up." And she probably said, "I can't give it up. I'm making that much money." Yep. And that's fair. Yep. I it, I think it's dumb. Um, I think a lot of people think it's dumb. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what age I saw my first naked woman, but I was pretty young. Um, but and, and and ultimately, from a wrestling standpoint, it really sucks because yep. I remember her on Tough. Tough enough, she stunk. Like she couldn't wrestle. She was not good. She couldn't talk. She couldn't wrestle. She was just a hot. She's worked uh, really model. hard. She has become awesome. Yeah. Toxic Attraction was awesome. We talk, yeah. I think I bring them up like once a week, how I want to see them great. on the main roster as a stable. Uh, and by the way, I know her main roster run wasn't great, but the stuff with her and Otis was awesome. I thought the stuff with her and Sonya was great. The stuff with her and Sonya was great. I mean, she had a really – she had a, even the stuff with her and Goldust was pretty good. Um, like she had a strong run in WWE, and then what she's done over the last – I guess year and a half mm-hmm. or whatever year and yeah. 60 days in, in NXT has been awesome. It's unfortunate that we don't get to see it on, on WWE pro- programming as hard as she's worked to get there. Cause it would have been great for the fans and obviously for her. Cause she did. I mean, she was bad when she was in tough, uh, tough enough. Like she just wasn't, she never wrestled. Yeah. I don't think anybody watched that show and was like, she, she's going to, she's going to be the one of the longest running champions of all time in NXT. Right. Right? So it was really impressive what she did. It, it sucks how it went it's a bummer. down. It's a bummer. And we'll see. I mean, by Saturday when we record the regular episode, there will be way more details. Yeah. Twenty. You know how the twenty-four hour news cycle is. Yeah. Um, yeah. This literally we'll, happened five hours ago. I know. I know. 
so we, we'll have the details. I'm sure even by tonight, we'll probably have details on what she was offered, what the ultimatum was, why she made the decision. Uh, she'll probably yeah, she's going to release a statement. She's, she you know where she'll release it? On her fan time, and she'll make a fuckload of money off of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and then it'll get leaked, which is unfortunate for her. Yeah. I mean, it, but I, I know that's just sort of the world we live in, but it is, it, 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 it does suck because uh, it just, I mean, I mean it's a, they're, they're making a living. Whether whatever, whatever you think about it, it's a living, and it's yep. a good living for a lot of people. Yep. Uh, and she was kind of, I mean, her privacy got violated in that way a little bit, even though she put it out there. It, it, you know, it sucks for her, but I, I think ultimately she's going to be richer because of this. I mean, uh, I mean, like, what what do you think in the main roster? You think like, I know Becky Lynch probably makes a shitload of money. Ronda makes a shitload of money, but I don't think a lot of those women are making like. Yeah, those two you mentioned money. definitely make seven figures. I don't know if uh, if any well Ronda, although she's on a, it's probably not a yearly thing. But Charlotte Flair when she's around, I mean Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte Flair and probably. Becky definitely make seven figures. Do any of the other women make seven figures? Probably not. Yeah, I mean, I, she could go around. She could just go do the whole indie thing and be the conquering hero who, you know, WWE shunned. Make a make a million a year off of her fan time and then get whatever she gets off the indies. We talk about it all the time. People are making good money doing it. So yeah. yeah. Uh this was a good this is a good idea though, Joey. Excellent job. We'll do this, uh we'll do this more when there's like breaking news and stuff. And yeah, I, I, well, I, what what do you think about uh I mean, I don't know if you do you watch NXT much, like Cora Jade as champion? Like to, uh, it was a, it's a little quick. Roxanne. Seemingly. Roxanne. A Cora, yeah, Roxanne Perez. She's now going to feud with Cora Jade, I think, right? right? Isn't that right? Well, cool? they were best friends, and now they're enemies. I'll tell you what I loved, though. Um, you know, Booker Booker trained her, and when oh, that, she yeah. won, and when she won the Iron Survivor Challenge Saturday night, and then even when she won last night, uh, I like to believe that Booker did not know the finish to the match. His reaction uh, was cool. Was cool. Yeah, I, I hope he didn't know. I'd like to believe he didn't know because his reaction seemed just so genuine. And yeah. he was so happy for her because he trained her. Uh, I really, I really dug that. That that shit was yeah. cool. Yeah, I, and I'll, 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 I'll we, we could just end it here. But I, I will say this: I don't think Roxanne Perez is ever holding a, a championship belt if Vince McMahon's in charge. She's she's just not. She's so small. She's so small. And I know that's usually like reserved for like Vince and men, right? But I mean, she's really like she's just noticeably smaller than everyone else in the ring. It's like. We're trying to suspend disbelief, and it, there's like yeah. a teenager in the ring. It's it's tough, but it's cool that she she gets to do it. But I I actually that's a good tease for Saturday because I have there's another thing that happened on this week's programming in terms of size difference. I was like, how how, how is that able to happen cool. if we're supposed to believe this is real? So make sure you it tune, is real to us. It is still real to me. Make sure you tune in to next weekend's episode. This weekend, I should say Saturday's episode. Of it's still real to me. You'll get your full dose. We'll recap the entire week of uh, all the big stories in pro wrestling, but we just had to do a bonus episode of this one. Make sure you like, rate, you comment, do all that good stuff for the algorithm. That helps out the show. Excellent job, Joey. We'll uh, we'll talk to you on Saturday, man. Thanks. We'll see you on Saturday.